Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Anna Ken and I design knitting patterns and I teach knitting workshops. I teach in person in yarn shops around mainly the southwest of England but occasionally other places and I also teach online and I also sell pretty yarn through my website yarnaddict.co.uk where you can also find details of all my online courses and links to my pattern shops as well. So welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to review another needle brand. So I, ha I have already reviewed Chow Gu, some of the Knit Pro needles and Licker. And I will put links to all those videos below. I've actually created a playlist which has all the needle review videos. Oh, and I also reviewed uh, the Prim Ergonomic needles. Almost forgot about those. That was my most recent uh, knitting needle review. Uh, I also did a video on circular needles, why and how. So why would you want to use circular needles and how to use them? And a few different ways of uh, knitting in the round. And I will link to that below as well. You can also find links to all these videos on my website in the tutorial section. So today we're going to look at the higher, higher needles. Um, we're specifically going to look at the circular needles. Um, so why have I decided to review knitting needles? Um, knitting needles vary a lot in price. You can get really cheap ones, you can get very expensive ones. And as knitters, we don't always know whether it's worth paying the extra money for, for good knitting needles or whether the cheaper ones are just as good. I quite often see people come into yarn shops when I'm in yarn shops teaching and they pick up a pattern and some yarn, sometimes quite expensive yarn, and then I see them just pick up the cheapest knitting needles on display and I don't think they're always going to be that happy with their knitting needle choice. I also have people who come to my workshops who bring their own knitting needles and then they try some of mine and they realize that paying a little bit more for knitting needles is often worth it. So for my workshops I mostly use Nipro knitting needles because they are quite affordable. Uh, for my personal use I mostly use Chow Gu Although recently I've used liquor a few times. Uh, it depends on my liquor needles, are wooden ones. It depends on what material I want. My chow goose are metal. But I also quite regularly use my higher, higher needles. So we're going to specifically talk about the higher, higher circular needles. I've looked on their website and it doesn't look like they do straight needles. They do circulars, interchangeables and double pointed needles, according to what I can see on their website. Uh, it doesn't look like they do straight needles. I have their circular needles. I also actually have one pair of their uh, interchangeable needles. I don't know if you can see that here, that there's a join. It's quite tight, so I can't undo it. And I don't really want to undo it because it's the only pair of interchangeable needles I have from Chagu, so I can just keep them permanently attached to the cables. Now, according to their website, uh, they do... Um, what's listed as steel circular needles which seem to be kind of like with a regular point if you like and from what it looks like on the website it looks like they have uh, green cables and then they have bamboo ones which I haven't tried and then they also have the sharps which is what I have and they have these blue cables so the needles that I have both in the interchangeable ones and in the fixed ones are the um, sharps and I don't know how they compare to their regular steel ones because I haven't tried their regular steel ones, but the sharps are very, very pointy. So more about that in a little bit in a minute. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and leave me a comment and let me know whether you tried these um, higher, higher needles. In the notes below this video, which you can find by clicking show more or the little down arrow, depending on what device you're watching this on, you will see links. A link to the higher, higher European or British online shop. I'm not quite sure which it is, um, but you probably want to Google it and see what's available wherever you are, whether you're in the UK or abroad. I'm not sure that they sell them in the US. Um, so if you're in the US or Canada or Australia or anywhere else in the world outside of Europe maybe you want to leave me a comment and let me know whether they sell higher higher needles where you are and I must stop fiddling with these while I'm talking because they're making a bit of a clicking noise okay so on the higher higher website I'm going to read this so this is what it says on their website it says our flexible cables and seamless joints are teamed with high quality steel sharp tips 
to offer strength with a hollow construction for a lovely lightweight feel. The tapered point of the sharp tip is ideal for intricate stitches and lace patterns. Um, this, these circulars these ensure that stitches glide effortlessly over the needle tips and are available from 9 inch tip to tip for socks um, to 40 inch. I don't know what 40 inches um, in centimeters, but quite long ones. Uh, and with tip sizes ranging from 2 millimeter to 15 millimeter. So, quite a big range of needles from the really, really tiny short circular ones to the very, very long ones. Um, as I said, I have um, the sharps, which are very pointy. They do feel very, very light. So, I have a pair of chow goose here as well. And if I just hold them up, now these are not actually the same needle size, these are actually um, a smaller size. But if I hold them up, the higher, higher ones feel a lot lighter than the chow goose. I mean, it's not like the chow goose feel heavy, but the higher, higher ones feel a lot lighter. Um, they are pointier than the chow goose. So if I try and hold them up, I don't know how you see this, see that? That's the chow goose. So the chow goose thinner, so that makes it a bit more difficult to see. But I would say comparing them, uh, if I knit with one and then knit with the other, I would say that the higher, higher does feel pointier than the chow goo. Um, the chow goose are quite pointy, but I would say the higher, higher are slightly pointier. I think also the tapered end of the needle may be slightly longer than the uh, chow goo. So I have a pair of socks on the go with the higher, higher needles, and then I have. Um, I use 2.5 millimeter needles for socks, and then I have a pair of chow goo in 2.5 millimeter needles. So they're the same size. So if I hold them up side by side, that's the chow goo one. I don't know how easy this is to see. Hold them up side by side. I would say that it looks like maybe the higher, higher is a little bit pointier. When I've touched the tip, it feels a little bit sharper. Um, so I do think that the higher higher might be a little bit pointier. The higher higher certainly feels a lot lighter than the chow goo. The thing I don't like about the higher highers are their cables. So their cables are very, very lightweight and quite thin, but they will kink. So when you're knitting with them, they will kind of kink up. Um, let me see if, I don't know whether this will work. So when you're knitting with them, they will kind of kink up. Now, these don't actually look too bad, um, but they're a little bit kinky. I wouldn't say they're quite as kinky as the Nipro ones because they are quite bad and they do irritate me sometimes when I use them. But they are a little bit kinky. The Chow Goose, if I undo them, are completely straight, but their cables are quite a bit thicker and some people don't like that. And the higher highers are a little bit kinkier, um, but their cables are much, much lighter. And I think they also, it feels like they have this kind of swivel tips. So the, um, if I move the needle tip and hold the cable still, the needle tip will still move around. I haven't had any problem with the uh, interchangeable one and screwing when I've used them. Um, bearing in mind, I only have this one <laughs> needle in the interchangeable. So I haven't used them a lot, but I'm, I I tried to unscrew this for this video and it's really really tight and I don't have the little tool but for the interchangeable ones you do need the little tool to to um, screw it back on or loosen it um, and I don't have that tool here at the moment you can probably use the same tool they use for chow goo or um, nipro if you already have those needles the interchangeables come available as a set but you can also buy them separately so I obviously bought the cable and the needle tips separately and then combine them. I think my plan was to buy some more needle tips and then I just never got around to it. But I do like higher higher, uh, especially for doing lace stitches and uh, brioche or any time when you want to do decreases which incorporate several stitches. So doing um, knit three, knit four, knit five, if you're knitting more than say two stitches together Three, knitting three or more stitches together it can get quite tricky so having pointy needles are really are a really good idea as i said i haven't tried the regular higher higher um steel needles i've only tried the sharps 
so i don't know what what the regular ones are like if you've tried them please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of the regular uh thick circular needles the um on their website it just says steel i've only tried the sharps and i'm very very impressed with the sharps i think they're very light comfortable to nip with even though they're metal they feel warm to the touch and they're very very pointy if you don't like pointy needles try the regular steel ones rather the ones with the green cables rather than the shops so i definitely like the higher higher needles and if i hadn't already had a full set of the chow goo needles when i discovered higher higher and tried them for the first time i would probably have bought more of them the reason i haven't is because i have a lot of chow goo needles and it feels a little bit um, wasteful to buy lots of higher higher needles because they are fairly similar to the chow goo ones if you don't have chow goo um, and you're looking to upgrade your needles then i would recommend higher higher because their price point is a bit lower than um, chow goo i looked on the website earlier i just looked on two different websites and they seem to be i think the chow goos were four by four pounds more than the higher higher so that's for one circular needle so that's quite a bit i think the price range for the higher highers were about between 550 and six pounds which may sound like a lot for a circular needle but it's worth it if you get something that's quality they are very light so if you're knitting something heavy they're very comfortable to knit with because they are so light so i do recommend you try higher high needles if you are looking for a new brand of circular needles if you fancy trying chow goose but you feel the price is a little bit too high then definitely look out for higher higher and try those instead because i think they are a very good alternative the video at the beginning and the video i'm going to post at the end i used my higher higher needles for both of those videos so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching please leave me a comment and let me know if you've tried higher higher or if you fancy trying higher higher i quite like saying higher higher <laughs> um this i will put the link to their european uh online shop i don't know if it's a uk online shop or european online shop i'll put a link below but do google them to find your local online shop and also google it because lots of uh, yarn shops and online retailers also sell them and um, they also do a full range of other accessories they do stitch markers pouches for knitting needles and different things like that tape measures i think so they do various types of notions and stuff as well so do look them up if you're interested in the other needles that i, I have reviewed i so far i've reviewed uh, some of the nipro needles specifically the symphony oh can i remember them all that zing symphony zing carbons i think they were the ones that i reviewed uh, in my nipro video um i reviewed chow goo red lace and interchangeable needles the metal ones and liquid wooden needles that so i will link and prim ergonomic needles almost forgot um i will link to that playlist below and i will also try and link it in one of the cards at the end of this video and also if you're new to circular needles and you wonder what all the fuss is about and whether it's worth getting circular needles if you only knit back and forth only knit flat uh do check out my circular needle video I hope you enjoyed this video please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it please consider subscribing if you haven't already if you want to be notified each time i upload a video please click the notification bell and uh, click show more or the down arrow i think it is depending on what device you're watching this on for the show notes where all the links to my social media and my website and the link to higher higher can be found thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time